Viva, a visualization and analysis tool for distributed event-based systems. Viva is a tool that helps engineers understand how messages are exchanged between the components and connectors of a distributed event-based system. In this demonstration, we'll use the customer management system as a simple example input. In a larger view, there are two parts, the server part for the main processor and database, and the client part for task processor and GUI. Each part contains several software components and connectors. Let's run Viva. After setting up, let's run Viva in the example system via Java Eclipse. Run Viva first and the example system next. First, the Viva console pops up and waits for the connection with the example system. When the example system starts to run, the connection is established and the recording starts. We can see the client-side GUI, a task processor of the example system. Let's do a simple operation of the example system show time to see the current time. As we click the connect button on the Viva console, recording stops and GME is executed. After establishing the connection between GME and Viva, Viva is waiting for your command. Visualize. Let's click the visualize button on the Viva console. The entire architecture of the target application comes out through GME as diagrams. After the visualization of the entire architecture finishes, we can see the message that the visualization has finished. We can also see the number of components, connectors, connection between them through the output window of Viva console. We can see that the overall architecture of the example system has been visualized. The upper part is the server part and the lower part is the client part. We can see several components and connectors inside each part. The two parts are connected through an external connection. Blue boxes represent components and gray boxes represent connectors. Black lines represent internal connection between them and blue lines represent external connection between them. We can move the diagrams around as you wish and zoom capability is also available. To see the recorded message exchanges, let's click the show all messages button. Inside each component box, we can see all the exchange messages in the recorded runtime, and we can also see which components have sent or re received these messages. The components that did not handle any messages have become dark blue. Filter visualization. In case the target application is too complex and large, Viva supports filter visualization, allowing to focus on particular parts of the system. Let's input the keyword database via console and click the filter visualization button. We can see particular parts of the entire architecture which contain the keyword database in their name. And if you click the Show All Messages button, we can also see all the messages exchanged through these particular parts of the architecture. Track Messages To track the messages one by one, we can use the Track Messages function. After visualizing the architecture of the example system, we can click the Track Messages button. As we click the Track Messages button, we can see the messages one by one in temporal order. While tracking the messages, backtracking is also available. As we click the backtrack button, we can see the previous messages one by one. Check message flow. To check if recorded message flow is different than expected, we can use the check message flow function. First, let's input the expected message in order. We first input update offline DB. Second input update offline DB. And third input show time. Let's click the check message flow button. If you look at the output window of the console, we can check which message is unmatched. The color of the component with a different message order have become red. Search messages. To identify if particular messages have been generated or to identify where those messages have been generated or sent to, we can use the search messages function. So let's search for the message name showtime. If you click the search messages button, we can see that the color of the components which have generated or sent the showtime message has become yellow. Show message based dependencies. To see message based dependencies between the components, first we need the name of the component. If you want to see the components which have dependencies with the online database component, let's double click the name of the component and copy and paste by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. After pasting to the Viva console, we input it. If we click the dynamic analysis button, we can see that the color of the components which have message based dependencies found by dynamic analysis have become red. Likewise, if you click the Static Analysis button, we can see that the color of the component, which has message-based dependencies found by Static Analysis, has become blue. Also, if you click the Agreed Upon Dependencies button, we can see that the intersection between the two methods has become purple.